Hi guys, so let's go ahead and talk about pH and pOH. So the most simple thing that you need to know first is that P just means the negative log of a quantity. So here we're saying P is equal to the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration and here with pOH P is the negative log of um, the hydroxide ion concentration. So let's talk about acids first. And so remember that acids increase the concentration of protons in a solution. Okay, so something else to know is that in solutions, the molar concentration, so concentration in moles per liter, in an aqueous solution is really small. So that's why we actually use um, the log scale so that we can discuss orders of magnitude um, changes between various solutions. So here, the basic definition of pH is that it's equal to negative log base 10 of the concentration of protons in your solution. You can also describe um, the acidity or basicity of your solution based on the concentration of hydroxide ions. So then in that case, it would be that pOH is equal to negative log of the concentration of hydroxide ions. Um, you would use one or the other based on which information is given to you in a problem that you're trying to solve. So let's do the most basic um, example. So let's calculate the pH of a neutral solution at 25 degrees C. Okay, so if something is neutral, what does that mean? So um, we'll see in a second, it means that you have a pH of seven. So something else that um, you should refer back to the equilibrium section in order to get the information for is that at pH seven, the concentration of protons is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus seven molar or moles per liter. And that comes from the fact that the dissociation, the equilibrium um, constant for water is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th, and that's equal to the concentration of protein, protons times the concentration of hydroxide ions. So that's where the one times 10 to the minus seventh value comes from. So knowing that this is the concentration of protons in solution for a neutral solution, we can plug it into our simple equation and get that the pH is equal to the minus log of one times 10 to the minus seventh, which means we have negative of a negative seven, which gives us a positive seven. So pH of a neutral solution is pH seven. So then what happens to the pH of a solution as it's made more acidic? So we just calculated that a neutral solution has a concentration of protons that is 1.0 times 10 to the minus seventh. So if something is being made more acidic, meaning that the concentration of protons is increasing, that means when the concentration of protons increases past 1.0 times 10 to the minus seventh, that since the minus pH is equal to minus the log of the concentration of protons, that as the pH goes down, the concentration of protons will go up or vice versa. I think I said it the first way before. So basically your pH will go down. So since neutral pH is pH seven, once you increase the concentration of protons, you can expect your pH to go down. So here's a really simple chart outlining um, what it means for something to be acidic, neutral, and basic based on the proton concentration in molar concentration or moles per liter, the same thing for hydroxide concentrations, and then the corresponding pH value. So if something is acidic, that means that the proton concentration is higher than 1.0 times 10 to the minus seventh, or that the hydroxide concentration is lower than 1.0 times 10 to the minus seventh, and that the pH value is less than seven. Okay, so between one and seven. If it's neutral, basically the concentration of both protons and hydroxide ions are equal, right? They balance each other out. So they're both at 1.0 times 10 to the minus seventh, and your pH value is equal to seven. If you have a basic solution, it means that your concentration of protons is less than 1.0 times 10 to the minus seventh, and hydroxide concentration is greater than 1.0 times 10 to the minus seventh, and your pH value is greater than seven, usually between seven and 14. The higher the value, the more basic your solution. Again, in the beginning, I noted that we use a log scale because of the changes in magnitude by protons, and so it's important to note that a change in concentration of protons by a factor of 10 
only causes the pH to change by one. So that a solution with a pH of six has 10 times the proton concentration as a solution of pH seven. And so that's why we use the log base. And that is pH and pOH.